Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a fascinating challenge in the world of game development. Our viewer is working on a web-based MMORPG and is eager to set up an auto-scaling strategy using Docker and DigitalOcean droplets. But there's a twist. They want to ensure that all game server instances operate as one cohesive unit, even when split across multiple Docker containers. This means that every action, like a character moving, needs to be synchronized across all instances. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing question and explore how to achieve seamless state management and database scaling in a growing game environment. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To scale your Node.js stateful application effectively, we need to focus on two main components, synchronizing game server instances and managing your MySQL database. First, let's discuss synchronizing your game server instances. Since each instance needs to reflect changes made in others, consider using a message broker like Redis or RabbitMQ. With a message broker, you can implement a publish-subscribe pattern. When a character moves in one instance, it publishes an event, and all other instances subscribe to these events to update their state. Now regarding your MySQL database, a single powerful server can work, but as your game scales, consider using read replicas to distribute the load and improve performance. Finally, ensure that your application can handle sudden spikes in activity by implementing auto-scaling for your Docker containers on DigitalOcean. This way, you can dynamically adjust resources based on demand. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Scaling a Node.js stateful application can be complex. First, clarify your system requirements. If you need real-time capabilities, consider using Redis, but be aware it requires replication and doesn't scale automatically. This might not be ideal for applications like games with sudden traffic spikes. For near real-time needs, Apache Kafka could be a good option. Alternatively, CockroachDB is a highly scalable database that might meet your needs, but testing is essential to ensure it meets your latency requirements. Lastly, avoid relying on a single powerful server for scaling, as it has limitations and can be more expensive. Instead, look for distributed solutions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Scaling a Node.js stateful application can be challenging, but there are several strategies to consider. First, horizontal scaling is beneficial. Option one involves synchronizing state changes across processes. With 80,000 operations per second, this can become a bottleneck due to Node.js's single-threaded nature. You may need to test different programming languages to handle the synchronization overhead effectively, possibly considering multi-threaded options like C or Go.
Option two suggests stateful scaling with routing. You can divide your application into map areas, allowing for proportional sharing as you scale. This method requires careful implementation and is less fault tolerant, but it can scale indefinitely. Finally, option three is to move the state management to another application like Redis or etcd, making your application stateless. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.